This episode is sponsored by Audible. Get a free audiobook of your choice that you get to keep with their free trial. You can learn more at lutherancartographer.com slash audible. The Lutheran Cartographer, episode 79. Welcome to the Lutheran Cartographer, the podcast where we explore what it's like to be Lutheran in different places. I'm your host, Nicholas Weber. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different episode. I recently moved to St. Louis to take a position at Concordia Publishing House, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the move, the reasons for my choice, and a couple things about St. Louis so far. So first off, I think that I've made it pretty clear during the production of this podcast that I am, I was looking for a new place. I think that uh, the Pacific Northwest and Washington State has lots of beauty and lots of things to offer, but it wasn't working very well for me. The culture was getting exhausting to be around, and uh, the politics particularly the government response to COVID was unacceptable in my book, and our governor at the time, or still governor, uh, Jay Inslee, was signaling that uh, the measures that were taken to, for COVID could also be taken for things like climate change. So nothing is guaranteed, you know, we don't know what Washington will be like in the future, but certainly if things kind of proceeded as they are today. It certainly did not look like it would be a healthy situation going forward. So for that and a few other reasons, I decided that it was probably a good thing to to start looking around and start exploring what other options were out there. And so a couple months ago, I was uh, looking pretty seriously at Florida or South Dakota. Their response to the coronavirus was admirable, and I'd found a few well, a good churches there in both of those states and was looking to perhaps make a, a move slowly, and then I had the opportunity, came up at Concordia Publishing House to do the same sort of work that I was doing in Washington State, doing uh, software development in particularly web development. So I uh, took a a harder look at Missouri, and at the time when I interviewed for the position in late May, it looked like things were opening up again and that things were getting back to normal in Missouri. And so uh, that, and with the plethora of excellent Lutheran churches and uh, many more Lutherans in Missouri, it looked like this would be a, a great opportunity and still looks like it will be a great opportunity for me here. So I decided to take the position. I left my uh, old job at Recreational Equipment Incorporated, REI, and went to Missouri. So a couple reasons uh, to kind of break it down in, in more detail. So first of all, there was the coronavirus response. Uh, as Missouri is a redder state than Washington, clearly, uh, it looked like their response, uh, while not as uh, uh, freedom-oriented as, say, uh, DeSantis's approach in Florida or Nome's response in South Dakota, certainly looked better than, than what I could expect in, in Washington state. Also, so far as the culture goes, uh, even in St. Louis, which is uh, a very... Uh, compared to the rest of Missouri, very progressive place, uh, certainly more f family oriented. And, um, I don't know, compared to, to walking, walking down the street in say Seattle, uh, the people <laughs> look normal and it, it feels like a, a more normal and more human place. And so, uh, the culture looks, looks to be a lot better here in Missouri, which is great. And, uh, we'll see how it, it pans out in the long run, but it certainly is, uh, at least for the moment, it's a much better uh, cultural place. And then, of course, as this is the Lutheran cartographer, we, we need to talk about the Lutheran options. Uh, as you've heard from many pastors, and I think I've alluded to this myself, that you don't want to 
move just for a job, you also want to make sure that there's a, a good church here wherever you're moving. And that, that's something I would continue to encourage my listeners uh, to strongly consider when you have a, a place that you're going to for a job to make sure that there's a, a place where you and your family can be uh, fed the word of God and receive the word and the, the sacraments rightly preached and administered. And of course, here in St. Louis, of course, is the uh, headquarters of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod, the, the Lutheran Church body that I'm a part of. And there are many good churches. We've, we've heard from Pastor Golden, uh, who's over at Village Lutheran Church, or was over at Village Lutheran Church. He recently accepted a, a call to the seminary. And then from Pastor Whedon out in uh, just across the river in Illinois. There's lots of good churches here, and I was uh, very excited to, for the possibility to uh, be in a place with more Lutherans and uh, more Lutheran young women and uh, just more Lutherans to get to know. So for the, those were kind of my three main reasons for considering St. Louis beyond, of course, the the opportunity at Concordia, which is, is very exciting to me, the opportunity to uh, work in a place that I can continue to pursue, pursue my vocation as a software developer, but also do it for a company that I'm, I'm very excited about, uh, their mission, how they help the church, and... For all these reasons, uh, this particular opportunity that I was given looked, uh, looks very exciting to me. So that was the, the main reason for my, my choice to, to move to St. Louis. And a couple things have happened, uh, interesting things have happened since then. I meant to get this episode out to you earlier, but the, the move has consumed a lot more of my time than I anticipated. And that's why you may hear an echo in the audio. I'm still getting my apartment set up and still getting everything ready to go. It's been a, a long process. Uh, it's been compa- the difficulty has been compounded by the, the housing shortage, which bleeds over into the rental market, which then makes finding a good place more complicated. But anyway... Let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about what's happened since my move. A couple weeks after I got here, St. Louis decided, uh, Saint, the city of St. Louis, as well as the St. Louis County, which is the area uh, around St. Louis, is extending out particular, particularly to the west, and decided to reinstate a mask mandate despite all of the evidence pointing to the ineffectiveness of those measures to actually uh, do good work in preventing COVID, uh, they decided to reinstate that. So that was a a bit of a surprise to me. Uh, In retrospect, uh, it shouldn't have been that surprising considering the uh, progressiveness of St. Louis, but They were among the first to reinstate a mask mandate in the United States uh, after many places, most places, had lifted it for those that uh, chose to take the vaccine. So that was a a bit of a blow to immediately have that come down after deciding to, to move here. But again, that was... Uh, could have been something that could have been prevented with uh, a little more research and a little more careful consideration on my part. The uh, It's been great. Uh, I've been going to, to Hope Lutheran Church uh, down uh, in the southern part of St. Louis, so that's been a, a big blessing, a very liturgically oriented congregation and uh, just a, a good place. Uh, I Perhaps I'll have the, the pastor on uh, this podcast soon. We'll see. And overall, it's just been a, a very good move for me so far. Uh, we, it remains to be seen where it goes from here. There's a lot to that isn't known yet. And so far as a lot of, a lot of places uh, are 
all facing economic difficulties due to the government's response to the coronavirus. Again, not not good stuff, and it remains to be seen how much that will come down here again as uh, the response here in this particular state of Missouri has not been as uh, freedom-oriented as you see in some other uh, red states. We'll see what happens next. Before we go any further, I want to take a quick moment to mention this, today's sponsor. That'll be Audible. You can get a free audiobook of your choice if you go to lutherancartographer.com slash audible. You can sign up for their service, and with that trial, you get a free audiobook that you can keep if you, even if you decide not to continue with their service. And this month, I am recommending uh, Pastor Will Whedon's Thank, Praise, Serve, and Obey, and you can find that on Audible. I listened to this particular audiobook that's about uh, piety, Lutheran piety, on my trip out to Missouri, and it was a great accompaniment, and I'd recommend that you check it out. Again, if you want, want more information, you can find that at lutherancartographer.com slash audible for their free 30-day trial with that audiobook that you get to keep. So something else I wanted to talk about with this uh, move to St. Louis is to just point you to a few of the sites that I've particularly enjoyed here in St. Louis. We've, uh, you've already heard from Pastor Golden if you listened to that episode about that, as well as Pastor Will Wheaton. You'll, you've heard from them about what their favorite sites are. I've been to the city uh, four or five times before I decided to move here, as well as been here for about two months at this point little shy of two months, and I want to talk about some of my favorite things about the city. So a couple things that if you're in town as a tourist that I would recommend checking out is the City Museum. This is a kind of a, an urban jungle gym, kind of a cross between like a children's museum and urban jungle gym, an architectural sculptural museum. It's a ton of fun. You get to, to crawl around different places. You can go up to the roof there. You can go into a school bus that's hanging off the roof as well as a Ferris wheel up there. As well as out front, there's a rebar tunnels that you can crawl through, uh, going up to a, like a fighter jet and a bunch of other really cool things. It was done, it was uh, developed by a St. Louis sculptor who actually uh, saved the or was a part of a group that saved the Pieta in Rome when it was attacked by some guy with a chisel. Uh, the the creator of the city museum wrested him away from the sculpture. So some pretty cool history there. Uh, something well worth checking out. It's it's great for all ages. Another thing I'd recommend checking out is Ted Drew's. Their frozen custard is quite good. It's a part of... Uh, Route 66, a hist historical part of Route 66, well worth checking out going to get some of their frozen custard. No, it's not ice cream, it's frozen custard. Something else that's well worth taking a look at is taking some time to go to the Basilica that's near Forest Park. It's one, the Basilica is on the interior is covered in just beautiful mosaics. Of course, you'll have to, to deal with the normal amount of papist junk on the walls, but if you can look past that, there's some fantastic things to be seen there, as well as Forest Park itself is a very nice park. I would highly recommend checking out the, the art museum there. The zoo is also a favorite of many people of the city, and both of those attractions are free due to the generosity of different companies in the St. Louis area, especially um, Anheuser-Busch. So check those out if you decide to come to St. Louis. And if you're in St. Louis, of course, please look me up. Uh, you can get in touch with me. The, usually the best way is on Twitter. I'm at NWCartography. Or you can reach out to me through the contact form on my website, which is lutherancartographer.com. And if you'd like to see more about this show as well as get some show notes, you can find all those at lutherancartographer.com slash 79. 
Again, this has been an exciting change in my life. I'm looking forward to getting to know St. Louis better, as well as exploring the areas around St. Louis. My, my plan right now is to be to rent for a couple months and just to get a feel for the area and then purchase a home. But of course, we'll see what happens next. Nothing is, is set in stone, of course. I want to thank you for listening today. If you'd like to learn more, again, please check out the show notes page at lutherancartographer.com slash 79. And if you'd like to check out that Audible offer, you can find that at lutherancartographer.com slash audible. Until next time, I'm Nicholas Weber. Thanks for listening. I'll talk to you soon.